that we can get some idea from the room about what are the reasons that people find it important to be here tonight. Could somebody help me by taking one of the roving mics? Um, thank you very much, Karen. If you, if you would like to just comment, contribute, what it is that's important to you, put your hand up and we'll give you the mic. And I'll Hi there. I'd just like to introduce Tamara. And Tamara's from Australia and has decided to settle in Scotland and believes that she should be involved in the dialogue because it's an exciting place, an exciting time to be here, the family is settled here and it's a conversation she wants to be part of. Um, well we think it's important to be here um, mainly to represent young people and also to prove that young people aren't disinterested in politics and that we want to have an opinion on it and we do like to be involved. Well, the conversation we had here was I've met somebody who we, um, we participated in the training um, for the Art of Hosting uh, back in uh, October, so it's it nice to reconnect um, with our fellow practitioners and I guess to meet other people or, you know, who are interested in what the Art of Hosting uh, is about and, sh and share experiences. When they explained to me um, what's what this is about, really, because I was just I mean, as you know, to sing. Um, but uh, I did contribute to the conversation. Um, what I know, which is I'm an English teacher in a high school very near here, um, and uh, yeah, I can just relate a lot of it to the curriculum for excellence. What's happening for Scotland just now, which is everything is about participation and uh, the teacher. The term that's getting used just now is as a facilitator, so kind of give them a small amount to be able to work in pairs, work in groups, and to um, participate to come up with the answers themselves. Um, and equally, among staff, there's a lot of distribution of leadership through schools nowadays, um, where you know, teachers kind of are set up in groups to kind of uh, discuss different parts of running the school and is participating to work through the problems rather than just leaving it to one leader to tell people what to do. So that was why I could connect with it. Well, in my earlier life, I worked in big business and I worked as a director in a big PLC where decisions were centralized. Uh, the company was Cadbury Schwartz and the chairman was a guy called Adrian Cadbury who, in the back of time, paternalism, involvement, people, participation were all part of the Cadbury family. So he decided that he would actually introduce much greater participation. And the results were quite outstanding because people felt they could contribute. And he took that right the way through when he decided to devolve the food businesses. And I was part of a management buyout team. In the first year, by involving all the troops and assisting the top management, we took £43 million pounds out of the sum we borrowed in one year. And that was participation in practice. And I'd like to just finish with the quote of Karl Marx. Theory without practice is futile. Practice without theory is stern. And I think tonight I would hope that some positive outputs come out of this conversation. I heard someone uh, who was here to, from the national government to help communities use resources and become more sustainable. Well, that's the beginning of their evening. It's uh, to start the interaction and communication. That's what conversation is about. I was very apprehensive at the moment. It's been a long build up. I'm beginning to unwind a bit, beginning to relax, beginning not to worry. I hope you are too, because uh, what we're looking for are your thoughts, your views, your shared conversations. We will harvest that, a key word. We will remember that. And we are going to capture that in some form of communication, probably in the form of a newsletter, something which people will be able to take to wherever it is that these conversations need to be continued. This isn't a one-off event, it's a process which is going on and is growing.